but to, to come back to it, so sovereignty severely compromised in this kind of a structure, okay? And the almost universal uh, experience you know, throughout history when you create this kind of a structure okay, is you end up with the negative view of what a dictatorship is. Okay. Uh, so and Michael, I'm, Michael, I'm giving you one example of a congressional hearing of, of uh, Anthony Fauci. Democrats were asking and saying that, see, you have served the country for last 40 years, you have a very a great track record, and he was, they, they were only uh, praising entry fortune. They were not asking the evidence, they were not asking the emails, emails uh, uh, between the uh, stakeholders exchange of emails, when the Republicans were giving the facts, they were just saying that, no, 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 you, your service has been great for the country. So this kind of very, and I, I cannot say that uh, this kind of argument Democrat is building to protect Anthony Fauci, what will happen in, in, in US, sir? Forget about the sovereignty of respective states and other member states of WHO. The facts which is coming out in front of American administration and the party which is in power, they are trying to protect their, their evil. Why? I recall the remark of Winston Churchill to the effect, you can trust the Americans to do the right thing, but not until they've tried everything else. Okay. So, <laughs> oh, great things. So what, Fantastic. what um, I, I believe that the democratic process is working now. It was not working before. Uh, right. I believe that we are in an election year. Uh, you have just gone through this uh, with some interesting results. Um, and I think that no one can really predict what's going to come out, but I can assure you that whichever party wins, there will be a reckoning over these issues. Okay. It's very good. Very good. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so, sir. Now, uh, can you put some light on uh, World Bank behavior? Because we have already discussed too much uh, the behavior of WHO, but World Bank behavior, how World Bank is behaving now it is? This organization is also trying, trying to control the world, uh, the, the global, global finance through a global governance kind of a uh, misinformation and nomenclature. Mm. So we've had a lot more experience with the World Bank and uh, its deep involvement in uh, structural adjustment, um, the penalizing of countries for having uh, taken on debt and then mm. Uh, suffering uh, for that. And so, you know, one thing that the World Bank is always looking for is a new mandate, a new area to get into, because it's, you know, once vaunted reputation as uh, having the world's experts in how to, to manage uh, development and, and processes, this all turned out to be completely wrong. Um, the, their structural adjustment plans killed uh, growth uh, in all the countries that it was implemented in. Um, they moved to good governance, which was a way of blaming the countries for <laughs> their failures. Um, and uh, good governance turned out to be a huge waste of money for which many countries incurred debt, thinking that they would become more efficient in the management of government. And so what slowly happened was uh, developing countries said, you know, I'm not going to depend on them. I remember very famously, uh, YV Ready pr uh, prohibited uh, anyone from the World Bank to come on the premises of the RBI anywhere in India. Okay? And he said, I don't want those people anywhere around us. They pollute mines and they... they come. The other thing about the World Bank is that if you've ever had to work with them, okay, they take over and they impose their own ideas on, on whatever it is. Um, I've seen this from the FAO vantage point. 
uh, where you know they have a certain view of how agriculture should change in in the world should become industrialized, um, which would be a catastrophe if it were done in Africa. Um, that leaves uh, hundreds of millions unemployed and the rest. Um, but if you go to their webpage, maybe it's changed now, but when I went to it, it said, our job is to help countries get out of agriculture. Um, so uh, I think that they have no special uh, knowledge of economics. And, and now they want to say they, they have special, they will ha acquire the expertise. This is in their papers to the G20 uh, expertise. Uh, that's needed to to play the accountability role for um, uh, the uh, WHO. How does that work? Okay, um, <clears throat> the core of this treaty and the IHR amendments is a deal. They want to create a global surveillance pandemic, mm. uh, surveillance response prevention. Um, right mechanisms of PPR, uh, prevention, preparedness, and response, um, to the tune of, <clears throat> in five years, $155 billion. Okay? They want most of that <clears throat> to be paid for by the countries themselves. And the illusion that many people have is that the World Bank brings you money. Okay, The World Bank brings you loans. Okay, so even what they finance, mostly, there's IDA is an exception and it's, there's a concessionary part of it that's worth something, um, but it's your public money. Okay, you have to pay that back. You, and, and the thing about the World Bank is that people pay the World Bank, all right? I once heard someone say uh, from, from a, an OECD government, uh, finance ministry say, um, the reason the World Bank can give money at such low rates is because we, we uh, lenders, um, uh, support that. And you know, the answer to that is, since when is the quality of debt dependent on the status of the lenders? Okay? It's on the borrowers. Um, and because the borrowers pay. And why do they pay the World Bank? Not because the loans are good. They have no exceptional uh, performance on their loans. Okay, uh, if you took out good governance loans, you just wasted your money. Um, but um, because politically, you don't fight the World Bank. Okay, this this will lead you excluded in many ways, and it's tied to your reputation for private finance and, and other uh, areas. So, um, so this this is what it means to have the World Bank come in to an area they don't know anything about and start to take over and then hold countries accountable for performance for the money. Okay, how do they hold them accountable? Look, they get you addicted to these loans and they want to keep rolling over the loans. If you don't do what they say, they're good advice, uh, then you won't get the loans. And, and, and this has been the experience everywhere else and this is what's on the table now. भोलानाथ के टू इन वन बैटरी ऑपरेटेड हार्वेस्टर कम ब्रश कटर के साथ ट्रॉली अतिरिक्त लागत पर उपलब्ध है अधिक जानकारी के लिए कृपया दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें